Good afternoon, everybody. This is Karen Martz. All right, so Freedom the Parrot is out in his bird pack. Hey, Freedom. We walk almost every single day, and he's facing backwards. Hey, Freedom. And we specifically walked down Woodhaven Avenue. Guys, I used to live at Woodhaven woo, for nine years. Uh, they are efficiency units, and they're small and compact, but you actually have storage underneath the, um, the couch and the bed. The bed actually can go up into the wall called a Murphy bed. I never did that. I left mine down. But you can sit on the end, end of the bed and put your feet up on the couch if you want. And oh. you're... Hi, Freedom. The TV was on a swivel. Hilarious. Can't steal the TV. <laughs> but here's why I came down here. Look at this. This is called <sighs> Chinese Silk Tree, also known as the Mimosa Tree. And I got to find out how that all started. But aren't these gorgeous? So very fascinating. Now, this tree just started blooming the other day because I, when I'm driving down the road, let's see, on Cordillo, I look down, I'm like, oh my god, the pink flowers are out. So beautiful. Very delicate flowers, and you got very interesting leaves on top of that. Hey, Freedom. And then watch this. If I step back, so, see, Woodhaven's right down here. Woodhaven. And, oh, some people are talking in the background. Anyway, so you see these beautiful flowers? And so very tropical leaves. And this tree, I think I read it was introduced to Europe in the 18th century and um, named after a guy that I guess discovered them. Really cool. So very beautiful. And the tree will, it'll keep on blooming uh, probably for a couple of weeks, but you gotta, you gotta hit it right. And again, they called the mimosa tree and look how fun, so pretty. All right, it reminds me of like flamingo colors. All right, we're signing off live. Hey, Freedom. With Freedom the Parrot, here he is. Hi, Freedom. Okay, have a great day.